What is up, everybody? It's your boy Soto here with the Autumn Windbags. Back with another one. Soto second look. Week two. Raiders at Bills. Enough talking. Let's get right to it. First play of the game. We got motion. We got man. Actually, third, third play of the game. Back shoulder throw. Nice work. Devontae making it happen. All right, let's slow that down. We got motion. Tight man. We got Tay here in the slot. Just simple route. A fade, but he stops it. Back shoulder throw. See, we got the Poyer coming over late. They're bracketing him. They're going to bracket him. That's what they're going to do. So it was a back shoulder throw. The last couple games, uh, we've seen a lot of back shoulder throws, mostly uh, from Garoppolo to Myers. But it was a good play here. First down. Next play, midfield. Get a little motion here. Jet sweep. Oof, Micah Hyde miscalculated the speed of Mr. Tucker. Ooh, ran right around him. Okay, here we go. First and 10 in the red zone. Devontae Adams cooks him. Oh, just like you drew it up. Touchdown Raiders. Bang, bang, bang. Buffalo has the ball on their opening drive. And to be honest, most of these highlights are going to be Buffalo offense and Raiders defense. Opening drive, uh, about 11 minutes left here for the Bills. And shotgun. So Sean scrambles, getting chased. Good work by Spillane to cut him off. He's working more of a spy on that. Okay, back to the Raiders. Out of the gun. Jimmy looking around. Nice dump off to Josh Jacobs. Good work. Second and eight. Pressure. Oh, no. Tipped. Interception. Let's take a peek at that one again, guys. Okay, we have Carter in motion. Play action to Abdullah. And it's a tip. That again. Illuminor needs to get a better block than that. That's that's really tough on Illuminor. Uh, I understand that it's a it's a screenplay, but you, you got to block the guy. You can't just let him run free straight into the backfield like that. You got you got to give some block. And um, the first look, Jimmy G threw the ball. It's ultimately his responsibility to get it around the defenders. But Illuminor's got to put get a better block than that. That's just a poor block by Illuminor. Ball gets tipped in the air and gets intercepted. Tough play. All right, Bill's back on the ball. Uh, second and 13. They got a first down. They, they lost some yardage on the first play. Second and 13 inside the red zone. Motioning out the back. Peter's just giving up way too much space on this. We saw this in the first game as well. Take a look at this again. See what I mean. Just poor footwork by, by Peters. Um, we got the snap here. You look up top. We're looking up right here at this matchup right here between Diggs and Peters. Diggs shakes him. Look at he shook him so so easily. It, it wasn't that great of a move. Uh Peters is all turned around. His back is to the play. He has no shot at making the play here. It's just it's just bad technique and bad footwork is what it is. Third and three out of the gun. Josh Allen getting some pressure from Max, of course. Nice throw. Stopped him. Stopped him short. Good play. That was a good play, keeping him uh, from getting the first down. Really good play by Josh. Josh Allen played really well in this game. 
They lost the first game of the season to the Jets. I don't know if you guys remember that. Uh, fourth and one, you know it's going to be a sneak. Josh Allen's huge. Yep, pushed him right over. No problem. Gained like three yards. All right, first and goal from the four. Oh, Latavius Murray getting his payback. What happened up front? Let's take a second look at that Latavius Murray touchdown. What happened here? All right, we got everything crashing down here. So you got Spillane, who's got to fill this hole here. Everyone's crashing this way, getting kicked out. So this is the lane right here. This is the lead blocker right here, which is a freaking receiver, okay? This is ridiculous. Spillane's got to see it. Merrick's got to see it. Then it's the one's going to keep the bounce, keep it all inside. Okay, let's see what happens. Yep, Spillane gets caught on the wash. He didn't react fast enough. I don't know what Merrick's doing. He's just getting blocked. The goal of this is to get the tackler. I understand you want to take on the blocker, but don't take on the blocker at the expense of tackling the tackle, the, the ball carrier. I think Merrick's still looking at the guy, looking to punch out. That's just poor technique and poor awareness. Let's see if we can get that again. So you guys see what I'm saying. So right here, you got a tight end. Look at Knox. It's going to scrape off. Spillane they just reacted way too late on that. All right, our next position, we are got a first down, and then we're moving a little bit more, and it's third and five here. Out of the gun. Jimmy G, scramble, scramble. Knocked into his face. Oof, this was a story of the whole game. We just could not move the ball after the first drive. Okay, Josh Allen, um, just a kind of a discovery motion. Sees that we're in man coverage. Out of the gun. Easy pitch and catch. Dawson Knox. Oh, that was Kincaid. Got him off sides. Free play. What do you got? Oof, Bennett, what were you doing on this play? My goodness. He probably just quit on the play. Okay, second quarter. Bill's still driving. Out of the gun again. Deep drop back. Oh, I remember this play. Let's take a look at this again because they're called this on Hobbs. I just don't see it, man. So we're going, we're going. Now right here, you notice they're holding each other and Hobbs is turning around for the ball. Now Hobbs can't even get his arms up here. He can't even get his arms up to make a play on the ball because he's being held by Diggs. So take a look at this. This is a this is a uh, where you want to look at right here. Because as he's jumping to turn around to get the ball, which Diggs is not jumping for the ball. He's not making a play for the ball. He's trying to hold Hobbs for making the interception. And Hobbs is the only one that makes a play on the ball. The receiver is, is holding Hobbs the entire time. And they call it on Hobbs. I don't know how you call this on Hobbs. But it was, and it was in the end zone. So it moves the ball straight to the one-yard line. That's a rough call. That's a really rough call. Second and goal. Oh, Bennett again. We got to take a look at that one more time. Dawson Knox. Here we got some motion. That's Kincaid in motion. Little play action. Okay. Right here, you see Bennett, I think, biting a little too hard, looking, getting his eyes caught in the backfield from the play action. He takes on the blocker. And then he just loses them. This is his guy the entire way. Boom. Loses them. He has to cover his guy. He just let him go. He shucked him, actually shucked him to the side and pushed him away. And that's just way too easy for a quarterback like Josh Allen. Way too easy. Got the ball back, third and 11. Again, third and long. Garoppolo is just nice in the pocket. Great toss. Let's take a look at that again because that's – people want to say what they want to say about Jimmy Garoppolo, but he he has he did make some nice throws. The Mostly the, his back shoulder throws were the really good ones. This is a really nice throw on third and long. You're deep in your own, own territory. You just gave up 
you know, a, a couple of touchdowns in a row. Some tough luck with, uh, a, I believe it was a bad pass interference call in the end zone to get the ball off the one. You hang tough. You make a little mistake in the in in the secondary and give uh, the quarterback an easy touchdown. But you you know third and long, you don't want to give the ball right back to him. You want to move the ball a little bit. So let's see what we got here. Okay, he sees a little bit of pressure, but he's okay. Hands in the pocket, sees it open. Okay. He has to throw it over a lot of guys. And for Jimmy Garoppolo, this is whipping the ball in there. Okay. He sees that Tay broke away from his his uh, his defender. And I, I'm sorry, guys. I wish I would have gotten a better shot for you here. But, you know, it's it's a motion. Like the camera's. And uh, you got he got it over the defenders. And uh, he gets it up in the up in the in the catch radius, which is where he needed to put this ball because of these guys. So I'm not going to bang him on that. But he zipped it in there and gave Tay a chance to defend himself on the way down. So good work there, Jimmy G. Moving the ball first and 10, next play. Jimmy G again. Josh Jacobs, get that first down. There it is. Four guys, and he still got the first down. Great work by Josh. Jimmy G, come on, let's go. Hurry up, hurry up. Second and 10. Scramble, scramble, up. Nice play. Nice work. Good communication. Let's look at that play again. This shows the communication between Jimmy Garoppolo and Devontae Adams. Quick little hand movement. Devontae Adams sneakily gets behind his defender. Snaps the ball. And no one's initially open. He sees Tay right there. Tay sees uh, Jimmy Garoppolo stepping up into the pocket. Automatically makes a hard step to the outside. He's trying to be held. This is, let's see, one, two, three, four. Technically, it's within five yards, so he's okay here with the jam. But um, Devontae Adams knows that he's going to have the advantage here because he, this is pretty much even for Devontae Adams. He's going to have the advantage if the ball's in the air. Hand in the air. You see that uh, we missed it there a little bit, but he just gave the signal with his hand in the air like he's behind this guy. Jimmy G floated it over. Boom. Able to get it and get out of bounds. If he would have been able to stay in bounds, he would have probably scored a touchdown. But that was a great play regardless. Motion here, third and 12. Another third and long. Can get the ball running on the ground. Jimmy G scrambles. What the hell was that? What in the hell was that, Jimmy G? Scrambles. Okay. Maybe he felt like the receiver was going to come back, but this is like six yards too short. I don't know. This is, seems like a either he ran the bad a bad route and he was supposed to come back to the sticks and he ran the route too deep. But ultimately, Jimmy G has eyeballs, okay? He has eyes and he sees how deep the receiver is. This is just a terrible throw. If he's throwing it to the sticks, it's a first down. But you're telling me you're not seeing where the receiver is? Look how far back he is. This is just a terrible job by Jimmy Garoppolo. I try to make – I wouldn't say make excuses, but I try to give him the benefit of the doubt because he's new and I want to see what he's got. But this is just a terrible throw. All right, we're, we're, we're hearing a, seeing a, a special teams play kickoff, so I know something big is going to happen. I'm, I'm a sensing a long run back. Yep, yep. Yep, Carlson, get him, Carlson. Get there. Get your ass on the ground. Wow. Not good if you're trying to come back. Okay, first and 10 after the great run back into the Raiders' territory. Let's see what we got. Under center this time. Interesting. Another running play. Cook. Cook had a nice year. That was a good run. We're just getting used up in front. We're just getting blocked. Second and one. Play action to Cook again, wide open. Who goofed on that one? I got to know. Okay, let's see this at half speed. We got a play action. Okay. Usual suspect. We got Spillane here uh, just ignoring his responsibility over here. Look at Max. Max looping all the way around. That's so sweet. I love it when he does stuff like that. 
But yeah, I understand that you're you're in a zone, but you you, you gotta at least get near your guy. He was nowhere in the picture. See, it's just there's he's not in the he's not in the picture. It's when he makes the when he makes the reception. Look how far away Spillane is. That's just way too much space to be given somebody when that's your responsibility here. They're not going to leave that spot of the field open. That's that's his responsibility. And I understand they ran people off, but he's got to have better awareness of that in coverage. Second and goal here, out of the gun. Josh Allen, play action, runs it himself. Nope. Oh, it's called teammate Epps. They went to college together in Wyoming. Evans said, no, not today. Okay, third and goal. Defense playing tough at the goal line. Tay again. Oh, stopped them. Fourth down. I was so pumped when this happened. And then they went and get, went for it. Motion. Motion guy falls down. Nope. That's a big stop. That's a big stop by, by the Raiders defense. Merrick. Tell him a little something. You got over here. You got Hobbs telling Merrick to tell him something. So great work here uh, by the Raiders defense to cause the uh, the turnover on downs. Okay, ball on the one yard line. Jimmy G, get back. Tay, yeah, one hand out, turn to Tay. Okay, third and three. Running game didn't do us anything. Uh-oh, no one's open. Get the ball out of there. Yeah. Everyone was covered on that. The big issue was we couldn't get anything going in the run game. We gained eight yards on first down and lost a yard on second down. Okay, out of the gun after the punt. Josh Allen, pump fake. Wow, wide open. Bennett again. They're just picking on Bennett here. Again, Josh out of the gun. Wobbly pass, wide open. Marcus Peters. <clears throat> Marcus Peters. What are we going to do with Marcus Peters? What can we do? So this is my issue. Now, I understand that me, Bennett, might be playing a little bit too close. But let's just say he's a little bit too close. But look at this. What what are you looking to accomplish here? You you have you have Hobbs over the slot, and you got the two two day, two safeties deep. And I don't, I don't understand what Marcus Peters is doing lined up like this. Maybe he just wants to you know use his eyes more and and and. Uh, be able to uh, use his instincts and his and his uh, his experience to break on the ball, and let's see how that works out for him. Because honestly, I don't think it worked out too great, and we just saw it didn't work out well for him at all. But this is just a ridiculous amount of space. What is that like? Nine yards? Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it's nine yards. He's almost ten yards away from him. When you're that far away, and the receiver runs directly at you. He's forcing you to make a decision. You're not going to stand completely flat-footed and just wait for him to do something. You're going to have to kind of go off of, you have to pick a direction. And when the ball is about to be completed here, is Peters just keeps flying back and th just how far away he is. That's just ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I understand the concept of uh, baiting the quarterback by bringing the safety in closer and you going a little bit deeper, uh, feeling like he has a lane. But in this case, that's just way too deep. You shouldn't be going too much further than the sticks on this. And then if the if the receiver keeps running, then you run with them. But you got to have you, you create this 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 trap right here of Merrick. And, and and Peters, so you can break on the ball, and you and and your your yard marker is is your or your sight marker is is the sticks is the first down marker. If you're allowing him to catch the ball 
beyond the first down marker, th this concept is is useless. Um, it just doesn't make any sense to have a concept that gives you a pocket open past the line to gain. That's just poor technique by Marcus Peters. Gabe Davis cooking us. Okay, out of the gun. First and 10 on the 11. Nice play. Merrigan Epps. So we've seen already Josh Allen is really loving his tight ends in the, in the red zone. He got a touchdown to um, Knox. He got a fourth down pass knocked down in the end zone to Knox. And his first play in the red zone on this drive is an incomplete pass to Kincaid. Shotgun again, second and 10. Scramble, scramble, flick of the wrist. Damn. Okay, so that is just a supreme athlete being a supreme athlete. I'm a big fan of Josh Allen. I think he's an amazing player. I think he probably should have gotten a lot closer to the MVP than Lamar did this year. If you take a look at their numbers, the only number that's really a glaring difference is Josh Allen had more interceptions, but he also had a ton more rushing. To, he had 10 more rushing touchdowns. He had, I think, 13 more passing touchdowns and made almost a 1,000 more yards. Um, so he's just a supreme player. He's just a great player. Let's take a look at this again. There's not much you can do in this in this, in this this point. Let's see what we got. He's going to the slot guy up top. This is who catches the touchdown. Okay, so automatically Hobbs is in trail position. And if this close to the end zone, you want to be a little tighter than that. So Max uses his guide. Look at Max is just a freaking beast. He's gonna he's gonna come down on him right here. Okay, look at this. He's getting um, Josh Allen sees the rush up the middle. That's Butler. You see Max just jumping in the air to being a freaking just animal. You got Spillane going at his feet, falling backwards. No momentum, just a flick of the wrist, and it gets there with plenty of zip. A touchdown. Honestly, there's some time you just got to tip your cap. That's just a great play by the quarterback. You, you, you called the right coverage. You, you got pressure with your blitz. If you're blitzing, you got to be a little bit, like I said, you got to be a little bit closer on coverage. Um, Hobbs gave him a little bit too wide of an inside uh, release and allowed for that play to happen. But that was just a supreme play by Josh Allen. So what are you going to do in that case? Hey, guess what? Bills with the ball again. We didn't do anything with the ball. Oh, Ja'Cory and Bennett, what are you doing, buddy? Terrible angle there. Let's take a look at this again. So what we're going to look at in this play here, Bennett, his help is inside, okay? His help is inside, and look at his footwork. Got the draw play. Okay. He's already a little bit too close, but he sees his help is here is Spillane. He has to shoot outside push him inside shoot to the outside maybe a yard uh, a yard outside of the running back shoulder and then squeeze in Un unfortunately he's already a little tight and gets juked out right here you don't have to be that close to be juked out he gave him a little bit of a hesitation and got him leaning in because of this he was able to run around him and he's in, he's not even in on the play Good thing Spillane had a head up and was in, uh, in pursuit and was able to uh, tackle him down the field. But that was just a that was just a bad angle by Jacorian Bennett. He's a rookie. It was the second game of the year. But still, man, that's football 101. Okay, third and two. We're getting him in third downs, but it's third and short out of the gun. We've got a tight quads look. We got one, two, three, and a tight end. And we got the back here at Cook. In motion, we're in zone. He sees zone. Pump fake. Oh, Mary just forgets that Stefan Diggs. Okay, third and three. Kincaid in motion. Josh Allen gets it to Kincaid. Short. Long Jr. with the tackle. Short of the grind to gain. Fourth and one. You know they're going to sneak it. I mean, 
you got your quarterback 6'5, 245, 250. Uh, what would you do? I would do exactly that. Okay. Third and goal. We're making it hard for him. Tavius Murray. Nope. At this point, okay, it's fourth and goal from the one and a half yard line. You're already up 11. You're up two scores. You know, you might as well just go for it. I would go. I'd go for it. To the third quarter. Okay, so we got fourth and goal in the gun. Josh Allen back. Scramble, scramble. Max giving pursuit. Oof. Touchdown. Gabe Davis. Let's see what happened there. So this is Gabe Davis here. He motioned down, and he sees it's going to be his own look. Okay? Because no one went with him. So Gabe Davis is now the inside guy. Does that give make some uh, make someone a little bit confused because he be, he came from the middle guy on trips to the inside guy? Who knows? I don't know. I don't know what who, what's in these guys' head. But let's take a look at what's going on here. So as of right this second, he has Spillane underneath and he has Marigold over the top. <clears throat> Excuse me, Marigold over the top. As Josh Allen scrambles. I'm assuming because I can't see that Davis makes a little bit of a juke move and just comes forward towards the goal line. And that's all you need that little window in this short of a space to get that ball zipped in there. Osh Allen looks, looks. There's one, two, three. There's a receiver right here, too. But there's a couple guys there. And that ball just gets zipped right through there. And it wasn't like this is Merrick here coming in, hitting them after the after the catch, trying to break up the pass, but just a great pass, man. What are you gonna do? Hey, Jimmy G in the gun, third and two. Nice play to Hooper. Hooper's a good player, man. I think I don't think we used him enough. First and ten, play action pass, deep drop. Jimmy G looking, looking. Oh wow, that is just a Okay, RJ and I actually had a pretty heated discussion about this. And I think that RJ was feeling that I was giving Jimmy Garoppolo too much the benefit of the doubt on some of these plays. This play is on Josh Jacobs, I think, 95%. This ball was put right at his face mask, and Josh Jacobs allowed a defender to jump over the top of him and take the ball away. And let's take a look at it, okay? So we got play action to Josh. Nothing's open. Here we go, Jimmy G. Okay, all right. So here we go. The pass goes to Josh Jacobs. Now, there's a defender here, so which, which is why he couldn't throw it lower than he did, but the ball's going to end up at Josh Jacobs' face mask, right here at his face. The ball gets at his face. The defender jumps over the top of him and just wanted the ball more. You saw in the previous clip, the defender wasn't like stuck to his back. He had some room. He broke on the ball and Josh was waiting for the ball to get to him. A half a step forward, a little bit of a lean forward, putting your hands out a little bit more, fighting for the ball would have stopped this interception. He just took the ball away from him. That's. A poor effort by Josh Jacobs. Second and five motion. We're in the zone look under center. Play action. Wide open over the middle. Kincaid's not going down. He's full of piss and vinegar. He's a rookie. He wants to make a play, make a stand. Motion out. Nice blitz by, by Diablo. Diablo got in there nice and clean. Let's take a look at that again. Okay. So here's Diablo here. Cook motions out. Now, at the snap, he was going with the receiver, and, and uh, Diablo just kind of stayed put, which was a good decision because I think he went in there pretty clean. Yep, nice and clean. No one blocked him. Great work. That was a good design there by Patrick Graham. Nice design. Good job. Okay, third and, uh, what, 22. Draw play, 
Ooh, bad tackling in the backfield made it a lot closer than it should have been. Four scores and seven years ago. Again, ball back, screen pass. David Long. Well, that's Teamer. Okay, let's take a look at that again. Now, when I critique like angles and stuff like that, I, I understand these guys are like way better athletes than I can ever be in my entire life or that I ever was in my entire life. I understand that. But if you're paid to you're paid to play on the football field. You got to pay it, play it properly, and that's what I'm here to do. I'm just here to show you why things happened. So we got a screen here to Diggs, quick screen. Got a fake here. Now, this is a great fake because you actually have some uh, linemen pulling like a power action here, okay? And that's going to pull everyone in really deep. So you don't really have to block Hobbs or whoever's in that position because he sees the, li the, the lineman pull, and it's a, such a good action over here. And you get it right away to the guy who was in uh, in the slot, which was Diggs. Okay. So from here, you have Teamer and you have Hobbs. I'm not going to bang on Hobbs too much for this because there was a pretty good heavy action uh, with the lineman. That would have been a supreme play for Hobbs to make that play. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know that. This is probably Jacorian Bennett. Did a good job keeping the leverage and pushing everything back inside. This is Teamer's play to make. Teamer's got to fill that, and he's got to make that play. And he's in position, and he just gets juked, and he just he uh, underestimates the speed and acceleration of Diggs, and that's why he's able to get by him. Yeah, Teamer's got to fill that a little bit a little bit better than that. Third and six out of the gun. Scramble, scramble. Oh, Jacorian Bennett lost Davis. Yeah, well, when you're a rookie, that's going to happen, especially when you have a scramble and a guy's heads up. Third and goal here. Dude almost fell down and still made it in. Damian Harris. Heads are down. That, uh, I believe, was the last score of the game. Here we go, going down, first and 10. Jimmy coming back out of the gun. Passes up, nice pass. We, got a, we have a Hunter Renfro sighting. Moving the ball, second and two. Draw play, fumble! Yeah, I don't know if you want to run too many draws with Zeus. That's just... Not his thing. And you see these guys. Uh, one of these guys is not going to make it through the season. Uh, spoiler alert. And that's the game, unfortunately. That was it, man. It was a tough game to watch, to, to rewatch. One of the things that we didn't see was just how inept we were at running the ball. Uh, how easily um, Buffalo was able to get first downs on first and second down. And uh, what we saw defensively was just a lot of miscommunication in the secondary and not a ton of pressure on Josh Allen. It just was, we just got outplayed. We got out physicaled up front. Buffalo ran for a ton of yards. We couldn't run the ball at all. It was a big wake up call after that first game against Denver. We need to get our shit tightened up. And uh, it took us a little bit too long to do it, but we did it. And hopefully uh, you like this. A recap, I know it wasn't the greatest game, but hey, you win some, you lose some, and that's how it's going to be, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace.